Next up, we've got Edison Cavani of PSG. So, uh, striker is very solid this uh, was last year. Got quite a few goals. He'll be good again next uh, this year. Uh, three star, three star, high high work rate. So he might get back a bit defensively, which may be a bit annoying. But he's still still a good player. Eight three shot, eight to dribble, eighty one physical. Very very solid stats for him. Now I've just seen this actually, and Paul Pogba has actually got a downgrade, which is a bit controversial. Was an eight to eight last year. Um, it's, a, it's very controversial. I'm sure Manchester United fans won't be too happy with that. Um, Four star, five star, those stars, very good weak front skill moves. High medium work rates, uh, his key stats, 8 8 physical, which is still incredible. 8 4 passing and 8 4 dribbling, so I think 87 is probably what I'd give him, to be honest, but I think I would have given him 8 7 from the start, not a downgrade, which is a bit, maybe a bit harsh for him to give him a downgrade because he wasn't, he wasn't bad last year. Certainly wasn't 8 to 9 million, but um, it's still, still, you know, still probably a bit harsh. Uh, to say we got a downgrade. Uh, next up, we have Ngolo Kante, who's actually gone down to a CDM now. He's no longer a, a normal central midfielder. Uh, obviously, for Chelsea, another solid player, 3 star, 3 star, uh, 84 physical, 80 dribbling, 80 on pace, centre of passing. For me, he's better than Paul Pog, but that's just my opinion. I think he's personally the best CDM in England. One of the best CDMs in Europe, he'll be very solid this year. Although he's had a bit of a rocky start, I think, from watching Chelsea, he's not been great. But he'll, see, he'll still be still be very good, uh, no doubt about that. Next up we have Marco Verratti of PSG, 4 star, 3 star. Um, I think he's an upgrade, I think he was 85, 86 last year. So, um, another solid player. 89 dribbling is his key start, 84 passing also. 79 defending, which is alright as well. High, high work rates, 4 star, 3 star. Only 5 foot 5, so he's a uh, smaller than me, <laughs> which, is a bit, which is a bit mad, but um, I'm sure he's a lot stronger than me. Uh, so then, 68 physical, uh, 6 star passing, which is alright. 59 shot, but he's not a. He's not a shot taker, so um, so it's it's fine. Uh, next up, we have Jerome Boateng going from the 70, 70 from the eighty-seven to eighty-eight rated. Now Jerome Boateng, six foot four, not taller than me. Um, uh, eighty-four physical, eighty-eight defending. His key stats: seventy-two passing, which is okay for a centre back. Seventy-five pace, which is it's enough for a centre back. Let's be honest, you don't need to have lighting centre backs. I mean, it's good to be have fast centre backs, but they don't need to be lighting. Uh, three star, two star, medium, medium work rates. Uh, another solid player. Uh, this time for Bayern Munich. Uh, the German, always another good player. Twenty nine years old. Thought he was a bit older than that, to be honest. But anyway, still going to be good. Meza Özil, who's had a downgrade. Thank the Lord. Eighty eight rated. Not too much damage has been done for Meza. God, look how pale he looks on there. Um, he's good on his day. He's just his day is not a lot. Uh, for for um, for uh, for Arsenal, I think 88 rated. I think Arsenal fans shouldn't be too shouldn't be too complacent with that. I mean, he was 89. I think 87 pff, would have been fair to be honest. I mean, he's he's higher he's higher rated than Ngolo Kante, which is a bit a bit obscene if you ask me. But anyway, that's just my opinion. So um, yeah, I think I think he'll still be good. Uh, you will. He'll be good for some games certainly, but. He just, he's just not, he just doesn't work hard enough for me. Medium low work rates is something not really. Yano Black is the final player on this list. Uh, goalkeeper, obviously, of Atletico Madrid. 84 diving, 90 hand which is very good. 84 reflexes, 87 positioning, uh, 77 kicks. Uh, as I said before, with some of the keepers, three star weak foot's all right for a keeper. He'll certainly, he'll certainly be solid. Um, Get him onto his in onto his left foot. He'll still be all right. He'll still be able to keep the ball fairly fairly decently. So yeah, um, yeah, he's a good keeper. Certainly, I'll certainly be picking him up from Rakan. He was quite cheap last year, if I remember. So yeah, he'll be good. So I'm gonna also go on to because that was only ten this time. I'm actually gonna go into the thirty and twenty one section as well. So we're gonna start off with Zlatan Ibrahimovic of Manchester United again this time. Um, He'll still be good, despite being 36 years old. Um, why are the graphics different there? There, it's a bit annoying. Uh, but anyway, 
you know, H 82 physical, is that it? I would have given him a lot more than that. 82 dribbling, 88 shot, 81 passing, very solid all-round striker, uh, the Sweden, Sweden, the Swedish player, um, Median low rate rates, four four um four star weak foot, four star skill moves. I think he was he was five star skill moves last year, wasn't he? So uh had a down go for that which is a bit a bit upsetting for him, but he'll still be solid when he's fit probably for Manchester United, assuming he'll play. Next up we have Pierre Emerick Abamian, ninety six pace making him the fastest one of the fastest. I thought he would be the fastest. Um well ninety six pace which is Literally staggering, like it said, you know. Four star, three star, six foot two, medium low work rates, third foot right. I mean, look at that, 96 pace will just tear defenders apart. Um, I th pace seems to be getting more and more important each week for now, so yeah, definitely be uh, important again this year. 84 shot is good as well, which is a solid, solid stat for a striker. Um, next up, we have Hugo Lloris of. Um, Tottenham, so he, he's only six foot two. Again, I thought he was told him that he's only got a one star weak foot, which means that you put him on to his right foot and he will absolutely spoon the ball maybe into the back of his own net. So yeah, I'd try and try and make sure that all times he's on his left foot. Eight tick diving, ninety reflexes, eight six handling, eight two positioning, only six tick kicking. Players have really got low kicking this year, haven't they? Uh, goalkeepers six five speed, but they don't need to be that fast, really, do they? So he'll be solid this year again. I still think he's a bit overrated, but that's just my opinion. I would personally give him an 87 rated, maybe an 86 if if you're being harsh. Uh, but anyway, yeah, he's still be solid though, certainly on FIFA. Anyway, uh, then ne next up we have Diego Godin, who is still doing well despite his age. Despite his age, God, he's only 31. I thought he'd a lot older than that. Uh, the Uruguayan, I think. Is that? Yeah, I think that's a fly. Uh, so he'll be, he'll be. Um, very decent again this year despite his age. Six foot one, three star two star, medium high work rates, key stats there, eight eight defending, makes him a rocket centre back, he'll certainly be decent again this year. Next up we have Mats Hummels, um of Bayern Munich. Um God twenty nine, didn't know he was old as that. Wow, that's that's a stunt well, twenty eight. Um but anyway, uh he'll be again solid this year. Uh I don't think he's as good as Beckenbauer. Oh, voice crack. I don't think he's as good as Beckenbauer. Um, certainly wasn't as good as Beckenbauer. Uh, 88 rated though, still good. 89 defending, which is still solid. Next up we have Thiago Silva, which is, you know, surprised he's still up there to be honest, despite being 33 years old. Um, 88 defending. He's actually got a lower defending start than Mats Hummels, yet he's rated in the 25th highest rated player, so yeah, it's a bit weird. Um, so I'm surprised at that, uh, really. Next up's Iron Robin, obviously, still doing well. He's got he's had an upgrade, has he? I think he's had an upgrade 86 pace, still making him quite quick. 90 dribbling, it's yeah, he's had an upgrade despite being old, so yeah, he's, he's doing he's doing really well. No doubt about that. I don't want to do now, so yeah, it'll still be. Still be very decent uh, for a few years to come now. Um, still right midfielder. Not gone very central despite his age, and he's not gone very defensive despite his age either, so that's a bit surprising, but uh, he's still very solid for Bayern Munich whenever he plays. Next up, we have Leonardo Benucci, who's one of the best centre backs in the world. 8 7 defending. 8 1 physical. It's, uh, 70 passing, which is alright. 6 8 uh, pace will get him by, so um, obviously just transferred to AC Milan. Three star, two star, low high work rate, six foot three. He'll be solid, uh, another solid centre back. There are quite a lot of centre backs to choose from this year, and it'll certainly be one of them uh, if you have enough money on uh, Ultimate Team. Next up, we have Thiago, who um, of Bayern Munich. I've never actually seen him play, so I'm not too sure what to say about him. Although he's got five star skill moves, apparently, so he uh, must be bit, must be pretty decent. Uh, obviously, five foot nine, medium medium work rates. Thiago Alcantara is his. Full name. So yeah, he's he's certainly, certainly going to be decent for uh, for Bayern Munich uh, this year. Next up we have Paolo Dybala, who is actually going to be the last player. Um, so he's he's very solid. 86 pace, 85 shot, 
is he no I'm gonna say he's the highest rated striker, he's not Lundowski and Luis Suarez, I'd imagine will be the only ones above him. Probably. Uh correct me if I'm wrong. But I think I think they're gonna be I mean ninety one dribbling as well, which is pretty pretty insane. To have a higher dribbling start for a striker than this shot is quite rare. But anyway, that's gonna end up this video. If you did, if you did enjoy them, please like and subscribe uh, for more content. But anyway, yeah, I'll see you later. Bye.